It starts off with Marty Mar, Lawrence, and Will Smith running around in this tiny little sports car. Martin Lawrence is in here eating some hoochie burger or something. They start arguing about him eating in the car. It's a buddy cop movie, basically. They buddy cop. $80,000 for this car and you ain't got no damn cop holder? Oh, damn. This ain't no goddamn Denny's or eating in my... I wouldn't be buying no shit from Denny's anyway. I don't like the way we've been treated. Get out of the car, man. Damn, bro. What happened at Denny's? Something racist happened at Denny's? Oh, my God. What the f*** is up, Denny's? They end up getting carjacked by Rob Snyder, hit ass boy. Yeah, well, I'm a stand up comedian. And I suck! They use their argument as a diversion to take him down. It's a pretty good opening scene. Damn, bro, that Denny shit really hurt my feelings. I love Denny. What I need to jump over this car and smack you in your peasy ass head. That's what I need to do. Shut the f up! That shit is shut, stupid! Shut, shut up, man! Hold up! Hold up! I don't see one of those jokes, bitch. The, the movie takes place in Miami. It's about these two narcotics detectives. It's Marcus Burnett, played by Martin Lawrence, and Mike Lowry, played by everybody's favorite rectangle shaped ad boy, Will Smith. Marcus is like the family man, and he's the more sensible one. Mike Lowry is like the playboy, and he's super reckless. He don't care about nobody's safety or killing citizens. It's pretty fucked up. You ain't even trying to compare body counts. One, huh, huh, huh? Huh, should I keep going all day? I'm out, I'm out, I'm out. So after that very solid introduction, we cut over to this team of bad guys. This creepy Francio is their leader. They are trying to break into the Miami PD and steal a bunch of drugs out of the evidence room. That's ridiculous and stupid. Or maybe it's genius. I don't know. I'm not a robber. You remember your assignment? Yeah, on the decoy. Oh my God, they shut down here! They dress some guy up like a cop and then shoot him. That gets the whole Miami PD to pull up, leaving their base unguarded. Well, this one guard is still here. Hey, why this shit look fun as fuck? This little bobsled part or whatever. These silly ass robbers. This is definitely a stupid ass, far-fetched ass heist. They was really relying on every cop leaving at the same time. Come on, Michael Bay, grow up. Anyway, it's the next day and we at Marty Mars' house. He in here trying to smash his wife, but she keeps denying him. She being real mean and unreasonable throughout their whole marriage. Poor Martin, bro. You'll never see Will Smith going out like that. Shut the fuck up in 2024! my job it's what it requires you know i'm a better cop when i get some in the morning his kids come in the room and interrupt him marty mar let the kids they already up and fully dressed too that's amazing these responsible ass little kids we're at the police station now and the bad boys are getting yelled at because all the drugs got stolen like it's their fault angry police captain cliche stay the hell out of here what did i say did you hear what i said I heard what I said because I was standing there when I said I didn't ask how he feels. I said, what did he Get see? Get the dope back and do it quietly. Uh-huh. Listen, why don't y'all just have your cousins bring the shit back? We can all get some sleep. You know what happened? We came up with a problem. Your mama snorted up a oh. Classic comeback. Yolanda, Yolanda, Yolanda. This mean white lady comes over and she says she's going to shut down the whole police station if they don't get the drugs back. So Martin and Will get to work looking for some clues crime solving hood movie they in the car driving and we find out that mike lowry is super rich because his parents left him a trust fund martin starts roasting him about it which is understandable everybody about to lose their jobs and shit mike lowry over here chilling he don't give a fuck look at these cats joking laughing like life's a joke life's funny when i'm supposed to apologize for my family leaving me money fuck you and fuck them and fuck everybody he's not answering Well, I guess they want us to come in. That's scared white folks. You got to sound like them. 
We were wondering if we can borrow some brown sugar. Shut the f up. Hold up. Hold up. So the robbers use the air conditioning vents to break into the station. They go to investigate the dude that designed all that. His ass dead though, and these niggas in here destroying all the damn crime scene? Y'all not wearing gloves or nothing, bro? What is going on? Y'all not even homicide detectives. Y'all not even supposed to be in here. Why are you touching shit? You breaking in people's houses? That's hella illegal. What's up with these niggas? Whoops. Watch where you swinging a dead leg. Anyway, after that, they stop past this 90s ass gym to talk to Mike Lowry's favorite what? sex worker, Max. They're trying to see if she can come up with some leads. Major, major ill shit happened down at the PD. I mean, there's a lot of people who will talk to you that won't talk to me. You mean customers? Just call me if you hear something. I think I will call you. Mm -hmm. Bro. Is he out here smashing the prostitutes? This nigga wildin', bro. Seriously, you're a horrible cop. How many crimes is that now? Uh -huh. All day. I'm out, I'm out, I'm out. But Max says that she'll help find the bad guys and she ends up getting herself hired by one of the potential robbers. Are you available this afternoon? It'll be a quick $2,000. I've got plans with Julie. So bring her, she's cute. <laughs> Party at the billboard. Yeah, that'll really rock. I'm an out of work photographer who doesn't know how to cook. It's a favor for my flower. Oh. Oh, right, the cop who I think you're just maybe a little bit in love with. Don't bring your random homegirl to a prostitute appointment. She's not giving up no booty. That's gonna be hella awkward. Bro just told you these were dangerous ass criminals. What is your logic? This is my friend Julie. You like a couple of minutes. <laughs> 10 minutes, we're out of here. Five. Julie. 10 minutes? That's not enough time to give up no booty. Niggas paid you $2,000 for 10 minutes and no booty? You're the worst prostitute in the universe, bitch. So this guy that hired Max, he's a part of the robber's crew. He secretly stashed away a couple of bricks for himself after the robbery. But that scary Francio finds out about it and he real upset now. He don't like that. I was looking for my two keys of dope and now I know where they are. Yours, man. It's our score. Fucking play with me, bitch. Hey, somebody's up there upstairs. Mike Lowry's favorite prostitute passed away, and he real upset now. He don't like that. I don't see one of those jokes, bitch. They search in the crime scene and come across a few bricks from the heist. Why would y'all leave that in here? You killed this dude because you were so concerned about drawing attention. Why would you leave it here? Anyway, Mike Lowry goes solo to find some more clues. He making a lot of progress. He a good cop. Fucking with me, bitch. I'm not fucking with you. Meanwhile, Martin is back at the station. They get a call from Max's friend, Julie. She says she'll be a witness, but she only trusts Mike Lowry. Hello? This is my life. Try to talk sexy. Come on, Excuse come on. Me. You don't come sound on. sexy enough. Pat. Who's there? Uh, Mike Lowry. Well, how do I know it's Mike Lowry? Cause I'm Mike Lowry. Don't honey baby me. You smell like perfume. Look at these 90s ass outfits, bro. Imagine getting arrested by a nigga wearing a leather vest and a beater. So if you couldn't tell, this nigga is so terrible at being Mike Lowry. She ends up believing his dumb ass eventually. For some reason, why the fuck does she believe him, bro? Cause I'm Mike Lowry. What you mean I ain't Mike Lowry? You never even met him. <laughs> the witness is scared to go to protective custody, so Martin leaves her at Mike Lowry's apartment. Then the two buddy cops reunite the next day. Mike Lowry still has no idea about anything that's going on. Uh, did you not go home yet? And see this traumatized white lady in your living room? He got knocked the fuck out. Then they brought him straight back to work. No shower, no nothing. I told you to secure a witness, not to shoot up a neighborhood. So where's the girl now? His place. What? You are Mike Lowry, you be him, that's what you are, you're him. Yeah, you're him, I don't wanna hear it, you're him. So they gotta completely switch lives now until they find the robbers. All to please this stupid ass, Karen ass witness. I mean, why not just come clean right now? This is such an easily solvable problem. Say I was bullshitting. This the real Mike Lowry the whole time. What's she gonna do? 
This character is super duper unlikable. I don't know if that's on purpose or what. No way! I told you I am not going in a protective custody. Your dog, they're shitting all over my place. Well, it doesn't help you going around shellacking it in with furniture polish. That's flesh that you're shoveling into your mouth, you know that? She's so demanding. She insists she don't want to go to protective custody. She threatens to get amnesia whenever she doesn't get her way, and she constantly sneaks away and inserts herself into the conflict. I remember you. Okay, that bullet definitely, definitely hit somebody. You might as well let her shoot the nigga, bro. You just shot some random citizen, probably. You see what I'm saying about this character, though? This is the most annoying white lady in film history. She stole a cop's gun out of his house, then took it to a crowded nightclub and shot at somebody. Just lock her dumb ass up, bro. Make her testify, or you gonna cook her. Problem solved. Stop. Huh. Well, should I add this to your body count? Again, these are like top 10 worst cops ever. They out here fucking prostitutes and blowing up the city, breaking in people's houses and shit. These niggas need to be fired, bro. I don't feel safe with them on the streets. The bad guys come to Mike Lowry's apartment and kidnap the witness instead of just killing her? Why wouldn't you just kill the witness? She your only obstacle. Not only that, they call the police afterwards to taunt them, giving them hints and shit. I'm keeping your sweet little friend for four hours until I make my deal. And I will make my deal. Then we get this overly long, explodey ass climax. It's Michael Bay, everybody. Michael Bay hood movie. You forgot your boarding pass. You better fucking win. That's all I know. You it's the end of the movie now. Marty Marr learns to trust his instincts and take some risk. Mike Lowry learns nothing at all. The white lady don't get arrested, but they got the drugs back, I think. You don't. <laughs> I love you too, man. So, what's next? Man, you wanted Mike Lowry? You got him. Right here, that's Mike. Oh, Mike Lowry. Overall, Bad Boys is a fun ass, explosive time, and it's got a lot of good jokes in it. This is definitely a classic, one of my go-to comfort movies. It's not perfect, of course. The bad guy was pretty lame. He barely got any screen time. The white lady was super annoying. They definitely spent way too much time blazing law enforcement and shit. These motherfuckers breaking all types of laws and the movie constantly tries to justify it. Still though, Martin and Will Smith are so good together, it's crazy. Fun fact, the script was originally titled Bulletproof Hearts and was written for John Lovitz and Dana Carvey as a Disney movie. Nobody was fucking with it and the script eventually got reworked in The Bad Boys. At that time, it was supposed to be Martin Lawrence and Arsenio Hall in the lead roles. Another rectangle shaped ass nigga. I'm so glad they didn't do that. I enjoy the movie the way it is. Michael Bay also admitted that he hated the script at first but he asked Martin and Will for some input and let them improvise. That definitely elevated the movie like crazy. Definitely added some flavor. This is definitely a top tier hood movie. Check it out if you haven't seen it. What's up guys? Appreciate y'all watching the video. Uh, like, subscribe, all that. My apologies, I haven't posted a video in a little while. Uh, I'm going through some transitions at the moment. Long story short, I was planning to move back to Baltimore. At first I was only temporarily out here just to find a place and get settled. But my aunt actually was selling her old house. She's gonna do like a rent to own type of situation for me. So that's sweet, it's a big ass house, it's awesome. But 
the damn house is not gonna be ready for a long ass time probably some months i already gave up my apartment in la so now i'm just ass out and shit i'm in a hotel right now probably be here for a little bit i've been back and forth everywhere my mom is like a I live with my dad. I want to help Dude, my I'm not just you, why are you trying not to lie, but I was at my cousin's house recording this last video. That's why you can kind of hear the fire alarm or whatever, that low battery shit. Change your fucking fire alarm, asshole. So at the moment, I don't have my desktop. I don't have most of my setup, but I'm still going to get that content out for y'all, man. I'll probably do a live stream tomorrow, just filling y'all in. Uh, make sure you got notifications on if you care about that. But for right now, I'm probably done bouncing around. Uh, I'll probably hang out in the hotel for a few months. So you should be getting some weekly videos, man. Don't hold me to it. But I'm going to try my hardest. I do have a lot going on. But first thing is first, man. Got to get these funny, funny videos out. Again, sorry for the long break. It's been like two months. But we back at it, man. I'm here. That's the video. All right, water. Thank you.